Now, Kenya is in the process of signing a bilateral deal with Australia to facilitate direct coffee exports. Australian High Commissioner to Kenya Luke Williams says Australia is also open for Kenya tea imports and export wheat to Kenya. Australians are becoming increasingly attracted to your coffee and your tea. And Australia and Australians regard themselves as the leading connoisseurs of coffee. And so uh, if we can get more coffee in particular from Kenya into Australia, Australians will be very happy indeed. So that's one of my key aims as the Australian High Commissioner. How this is a response to some of the problems of African farmers by working with them. I think that's another thing that has been very clear and we will see during the next two days how much the, the knowledge and the conversations with African, uh, African farmers and in particular with women because we know that African farmers are mostly women, how their knowledge of the land, how their understanding of the markets, how their engagement with researchers is making a difference in providing solutions. Technical information and there are technical specialists, they, they don't have the necessary skills to, uh, to, to convince others that this is what should be done, you know, to, to talk to non-technical people about what they should do. So wherever I can, uh, I like to encourage scientists to share their research in a way that people can understand it by telling the stories of impact and how the projects have helped people's families, um, the differences they've made to communities.